my name is Natasha Markisova and I'm an editor of In Your Pocket City Guides to Ukraine. I'm 26 and I was born in Kiev. When I was born it was uh, Soviet Union times and Kiev wasn't capital. Uh, Ukraine got it in, its independence in 1991 and it, it really took some time to understand that uh, Yes, we are independent because um, we were fighting for this independence for hundreds of years and um, then we got it quite easily. <laughs> like, okay, Soviet Union collapsed and we are independent and uh, what should we do with this? The 19s were a very hard time in, in Kyiv and in Ukraine because it was a young country. But starting from uh, late uh, 90s and uh, 2000 year, uh, Kyiv became bigger, the city became uh, modern uh, and um, today we are going to see different things to get known Kyiv as a, a city which uh, combines uh, ancient history and uh, modern facilities. Now we came to the grounds of St. Sophia Cathedral, which is the oldest uh, church and the oldest building in the territory of Kyiv. In the 11th century it was only uh, the cathedral, uh, but later um, it became a territory of monastery. Right entering the grounds you feel yourself like in some very quiet and cozy place. For most of Ukrainians the religion is an important part of life. Ukraine is a very cosmopolite uh, country because we have uh, all the religions here. Ukrainian people are uh, very tolerant to other religions. No matter who you are, you may enter every cathedral, every church, every temple and uh, feel yourself quite easy. We are at uh, Peizajna Alley. It was founded only two, two years ago. The idea is to develop Ukrainian uh, artwork in the very center of the city. It's one of the most popular places for locals uh, for the last two years. Actually, tourists, they don't know about this place because it's a bit hidden from the usual tourist paths. I really like this place because um, all these mosaics and uh, Alice in Wonderland playground over there and uh, even the view which is open from the from this side it's really beautiful. Art was always important for Ukraine, for uh, Kiev and uh, Ukraine has a very rich uh, cultural history uh, but uh, nowadays it's um, uh, contemporary art we are in Art Arsenal now, or Mestetsky Arsenal in Ukrainian. This was the um, weapon arsenal, which was constructed at the end of 18th century. And uh, it uh, served for military purposes all, all this time. And now it is the biggest, uh, most modern arts uh, center in Ukraine. If you come to Kiev uh, at uh, any time of the year, I would definitely go to Art Arsenal never mind which art exhibition takes place. I am sure that Art Arsenal will um, develop some new art projects which will be really interesting and really important for Ukraine. I'm proud to live in Kiev uh, because that's uh, the city which should be discovered in the future and I'm sure that it will be uh, like this. Uh, we came back to the start. We are uh, once again at Independence Square. And we have seen a lot today. And uh, I hope you really like the city. You have uh, seen that uh, Kiev combines uh, ancient history and modern life. And I really hope to see you again in Kiev.